Hi everyone, today I want to talk about the big number duo which produced the famous Rails number. So how was Rails number invented? So it's basically a contest at MIT on January 26, 2007 between two philosophy professors. So here is uh, worthy to point out that they are not actually mathematics professor but philosophy professors and the two professors are Adam Elga and Augustine Rayo and here are the rules first the contestants take turns writing down natural numbers on a regular sized chalkboard and number two any unusual notation had to be explained to the audience and three Primitive, primitive semantic vocabulary was not allowed. Uh, for example, you cannot say the smallest number bigger than any number named by a, a human so far. And fourth, there's a gentleman's agreement. For example, each new entry must name a number big enough so as to not be reachable in practice using only methods introduced earlier in the game. Which is, in other words, you cannot say your opponent's last entry plus one. So this is not allowed. And actually, one more rule is that you cannot use infinity. It must be a finite number. And here how the game went. So Elgar went first. He started by writing one on the board. So it's not the largest number, he's just trying to start the game. And then Rayo countered with writing a string of one on the board. So he wrote one, 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 which is uh, full of ones on the board. And then Elga erased bits of most of the ones to turn them uh, into vectorial. So it looks something like that. So uh, 11. And then the rest are all factorials. Uh, so that is a very, very big number. And then uh, the game start to get, uh, to went crazy. They start using their own notation, which of course they have to explain to the audience. And then eventually Rayo won with the following expression. The smallest number bigger than any finite number named by an expression in the language of the first order set theory with a Google symbols or less. And Elga couldn't think of a much bigger number, so they declare Rayo was the winner. And the conclusion or the funny bit is that the winning entry is actually more about philosophy than mathematics. So this is a brief summary of how Rayo's number was invented. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.